Volkswagen is a worldwide German company founded in 1937 by the German Labour Front. It has more than 283,000 employees. Its headquarters is located in Wolfsburg, Germany. The company has a production of 6 million units per year and generates annual profit of almost $2 billion. Two commonly known types of fuel used to power cars are ethanol gas and diesel gas. Diesel gas is known to emit nitrogen oxide gases, known as NOx gases. The Environmental Protection Agency demonstrated that air containing high concentration of NOx can have a direct impact on respiratory tracts and lead to severe respiratory infections. In 1999, the US government changed the NOx emission regulation limit from 1 gram per mile to 0.7 grams per mile. Energy efficient? Obviously, the price is important, but before that, you know, this, what's going to be the impact of using this car? Fuel efficiency and safety. It has to be fast. It has to be good looking. Following the US government announcement, Volkswagen suspended the sales of their diesel vehicles. In 2008, to comply with the US standards and to respond to consumers' desire to have environmentally friendly yet aesthetically pleasing cars, Volkswagen announced the arrival of new clean diesel TDI cars. A scandal involving rigged emissions has wiped out a third of Volkswagen's value on the global market. And now the president of VW America is admitting the company violated its mission by manipulating software to make its diesel cars appear cleaner than they are. The auto sales numbers came in beautifully yesterday, but for VW. World's biggest car manufacturer and maybe the biggest ever corporate scandal. The diesel cars sold by Volkswagen did not actually meet the US standards regulations on NOx emissions. 11 million vehicles sold were equipped with software to cheat on emissions tests. In addition to Volkswagen, Porsche and Audi were also affected by the scandal. The software added to the TDI engines could sense test scenarios by monitoring speed, engine operation, air pressure and even the position of the steering wheel. When the cars were operating under controlled lab conditions, which typically involved putting them on a stationary test rig, the device put the vehicle into a test mode. When on this test mode, the engine ran below normal power and performance. Once on the road, the engine switched out of this test mode, which resulted in emissions of NOx levels that were 40 times greater than that of the US regulations limit. I thought that was a really big breach of trust by the company. I think had they just spent more time developing a proper product, they could have achieved something maybe not as idealistic, but still something that would have been sold as well in the end. The International Council on Clean Transportation ICCT, is an organization whose goal is to reduce emissions by testing various cars around the world. Once tested, they provided full analysis and recommendations to reduce companies' cars' emissions. John German, co-leader of the ICCT, discovered the rig system. The scandal had considerable economic and environmental impacts. The affected Volkswagen cars in the US tested emissions between 10,000 and 41.5 thousand tons of toxic NOx every year. In total, the affected worldwide diesel engine on the road were emitting between 200,000 to 9.500 thousand tons of nitrogen oxide emissions annually. NOx emissions are extremely dangerous as the fumes can cause inflammation of the airways and worsen breathing which can lead to heart problems. The UK's Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs has claimed that exposure to NOx emissions has been estimated to reduce average life expectancy by six months and causing 24,000 additional deaths per year. A study released in October 2015 from Harvard and MIT showed that the Volkswagen cheated emissions will result in the premature death of 59 Americans from the excess pollution. Michael Horn, head of Volkswagen in the US, blamed the scandal on a few engineers. After months of apologizing, 
Volkswagen gave $500 to each owner of Volkswagen cars. The total amounted to $250 million. Nine managers involved in the scandal were suspended from the company. In March 2016, CEO Michael Horn resigned. On behalf of our company, my colleagues in Germany, and me personally, I would like to offer a sincere apology. I did not think that something like this was possible at the Volkswagen Group. We have broken the trust of our customers, dealerships, employees, as well as the public and the regulators. And let me be very clear, we at Volkswagen take full responsibility for our actions and we are working with all the relevant authorities in a cooperative way. The total cost for the company's crisis that year reached $18 billion. The Volkswagen company and James Liang, one of the leading engineers in the scandal, were both put under civil and criminal investigation. As the future of the car industry is shifting towards hybrid and electric cars, one must keep in mind that the regulations emitted by the EPA and the standard of emissions must be respected. Engineers have the responsibility to ensure that the work they deliver is within the regulations and consider the projections of all consequences of the developed technology.